Hey guys, coming at you with another video on this Thursday. Um, as you can hear, I don't sound the best. So, uh, I, after two and a half years, have gotten a virus that must not be named. And, uh, which is annoying because I've been sick the past month. Finally got sick after two years. And then I get hit with this. And it's like, oh man, like, I went to a wedding like 40 people got it and I finally got it and uh, just goes to show how transmissible it can be but I mean I mean I, I had the initial sim I went to it Sunday I had a sore throat Monday I thought it was allergies Tuesday I go to work I don't think anything of it and then Wednesday I wake up and I'm like hmm like my nose is really running I don't feel the best and I test and right away it comes back positive I'm like oh sweet so, I mean, Wednesday, I kind of felt a little achy, a little bit of chills. Um, and then today, I mean, I even went out and played a few holes of golf. Now, keep in mind, I'm not contacting anybody. I'm just going out and uh, on my lunch break, and I played like three holes. Didn't touch anything. That's what a great thing about golf is I could still stay active. So one day after testing i'm already out and being active i had to be out it's so nice out it's like 75 and sunny 80 and sunny finally summer weather so you know i'm just trying to soak that up and trying to be a little bit active my key so what i did once i i found out i got it i upped my vitamin d tremendously i tripled my dosage so i had 5,000. now i'm taking actually quadrupled i took 20,000 iu um I took, I take zinc supplements as well. And I'm just drinking a ton of fluid, drinking a ton of water. Um, and I'm not trying to eat any sort of garbage, no carbs, no sugar. Um, for the past, you know, I've had some sugar free cop drops with just have zinc in them. But, you know, I, I think it just goes to show the research that I've done. Like I, I didn't, you know, I, I'll be fine maybe tomorrow at the earliest so I mean these they come out and tell you that it's just this super scare and I feared this thing for years you know, I feared getting it I never ended up really getting it and then when I got it it was just like meh so I'm kind of proud of myself to a certain extent because one of the main key factors of people that have severe complications is is anxiety and depression and you know I'm relatively anxious. I've been a little bit more stressed out as of lately, which might have been a component on how I did contract it. However, you know, this is extremely contagion, contagious and, uh, you know, different variants and all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, I, 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 feel, I feel fine. And I think a lot of people that, that do, obviously, you need to get your rest. Uh, you need to obviously kind of get sun if you can go outside. I tried to go outside and non-contact as much as possible. I don't want to give it to anybody. My opinions are different on this kind of thing, just like a regular other sickness kind of thing. Um, it's been nice being able to work from home and, and kind of take it easy and stuff and, and take some naps and stuff and kind of recuperate. My whoop uh, said I had 1% recovery. So my respiratory rate's up, my resting heart rate's up, my heart rate variability is down, and my... So, I mean, it's definitely going through my system, and uh, my body's fighting it off. So, um, we're doing well, not, no issues. I don't think it's going to be any further issues. So, um, anyone who has, comment on kind of your experience, and if you have any other suggestions. So, hope you guys enjoy. Peace.